Hey, welcome back to GearWire. I'm Owen O'Malley. We're going to take a look at the ART Tube MP. This is one of the simplest and least expensive tube microphone preamps that you can buy. It's a desktop unit. It's not really made for rack mounting. Uh, you can see all the controls are top mounted here. You just kind of sit it on the table. Uh, it's made to be a, basically an upgrade to the stock pre's that come with, you know, simple, inexpensive uh, USB or Firewire audio interfaces. Uh, the Tube MP does feature uh, a 12 AX7 tube uh, for its preamp gain stage. Uh, there's also a solid state output stage. Uh, the tube gain offers up to 60 dB of tube gain. Uh, and then there's an additional 10 dB uh, available in the output stage. So you get basically a total of 70 dB of output from this guy, or that, that, that's the range, the gain range. Connections are very simple. You get two XLR and two quarter inch inputs and outputs. The inputs can be used only one at a time, either or. The outputs can be used simultaneously though, so this guy can be used as a DI box uh, where the um, quarter inch is your through to your amp and then your XLR goes out to your board or your recording interface. Controls on this guy are very simple. You've got two knobs, you've got input and output. Input gain has this uh, a, a, a basic range of about 40 dB. You press this button right here for plus 20 dB gain. This sort of works uh, in the inverse to how most mic pre's or most, most front ends uh, on systems work. It, normally you'd have a pad, but this is sort of padding your signal when it's disengaged, so you engage it to add back those that 20 dB of gain. Next to that you have your phantom power switch. This does supply a full 48 volts phantom power for driving condenser microphones and active ribbon microphones and the like. Then you got your phase reverse. Uh, so if you've got a pair of these, and, and they're really expensive, they're about 40 bucks. So you've got a pair of these powering a pair of identical microphones, you're going to want to use that phase switch to combat um, uh, phasing issues when you're micing the same source. Uh, and then you got your output right here. There is a, a, a little power and clip LED right, he, right here. It's not a meter, uh, but it does uh, Basically, it just turns red when your signal's clipping. So, uh, in lieu of a, a, an LED or a VU meter, that's your sort of monitor right there to to let you know if you're uh, if you're clipping the pre. Now, we threw a bunch of different sources and mics in front of this guy to sort of get an idea of its general sonic character and what its strengths and we strengths and weaknesses are. So, first, let's listen to it uh, powering uh, an M Audio Luna 2 in use as a vocal microphone. I wish you'd known me when I was alive. I was a fun. would hoot and holler for more I wore a drunk's red nose for applause Oh yes, I was a comical priest With a joke for the flock and a hand up your fleece I was drooling the drink and the lipstick and grease paint Down the cardboard front of my dirty dog collar I wish you'd known me when I was alive I was a funny fella The crowd would hoot and holler for more I wore a drunk's red nose for applause uh, Next up, let's listen to it uh, powering another large diaphragm solid state condenser mic, uh, an Audix CX-112, miking an acoustic guitar. So now let's listen to this guy being fed uh, an electric guitar combo signal through uh, two different microphones. First, a CAD Tryon 7000, which is a, a ribbon microphone, uh, so sort of that's sort of a favorite for guitar amp use. Uh, and then an Audio-Technica dynamic instrument mic, uh, which is similar to an SM57. So first, the CAD Tryon 7000 ribbon mic. It's a passive ribbon mic, so no, no phantom power used. Okay, 
and now let's switch over to the, uh, the Audio Technica dynamic instrument mic. <laughs> Now let's listen to the uh, tube MP as a direct box uh, being fed an electric bass signal. So what do you get for 40 bucks? Well, uh, you're not going to make your M-Audio fast track sound like a Pro Tools HD rig with this thing. Uh, it's not going to sound like you've got an Avalon pre in front of your system. However, for only $40, it does add a different tonal quality to your recordings. It's definitely going to be uh, a different tonal quality than the solid state pre's that are stock on most simple, inexpensive USB or FireWire audio interfaces. Um, you do get a little bit of tube warmth. You can overdrive the tube if you want. Um, it, overall, it's a, it's a pretty decent sounding little pre, uh, and it does it feels pretty rugged too. So, uh, you know, kind of hard to go wrong with this inexpensive little guy. Uh, it's the ART Tube MP Tube Microphone Preamp. You've been watching GearWire.com, and I'm Ona Malley. See you later.